You look like someone that cares about healthy credit. Now, you likely know that there's a lot of factors to consider. You have to pay your bills on time. You have to keep your credit utilization down, among other things. But there's one factor that's often overlooked, and that's hard inquiries. Now, in this video, we're going to take a deep dive into just how hard inquiries can impact your credit score. And I'll begin with what they are. Then I'll finish up with some savvy strategies for potentially removing them from your credit report. So sit tight and get ready to conquer your credit score like a pro. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Andy from Credit Sage, your top credit experts with over 3,000 reviews and a 4.9 out of 5 Trustpilot rating. And today, I'm dishing out some insider tips to get your credit to a whole new phase. Now, let's not waste any more time. You might know this already, so bear with me. I just want to keep us all on the same page. So let's address the question, what are hard inquiries? Well, simply put, a hard inquiry is a credit check that occurs when you apply for a loan, a credit card, or any other form of credit. The whole point of hard inquiries on your credit report is for lenders to assess your credit worthiness when you apply for a new loan or credit account. A hard inquiry gives the lenders access to information on your credit history and your financial behavior. Um, this could include your, your payment history, outstanding debts, and credit utilization. You see, lenders use this information to evaluate your ability to repay the money they lend you on time and to manage their risks. Now, it's important to know the difference between a soft inquiry and a hard inquiry. A soft inquiry is a type of credit inquiry that doesn't affect your credit score. Soft inquiries typically occur when you check your own credit report, when a lender pre-approves you for a credit, or when a potential employer checks your credit history as part of a background check. These types of inquiries are, are considered soft because they don't involve a review of your full credit history and are not tied to a specific application for credit. Now with hard inquiries, things are a bit different. A hard inquiry is a type of inquiry that does affect your credit score. Now the question is, how much? Well, generally a single inquiry steals five points off your credit score, but the total impact of hard inquiries depends on many things. The first is the number of hard inquiries on your credit report. Each inquiry can potentially lower your credit score by a few points, but having multiple inquiries within a short period of time can have a larger negative impact on your score. I'll give you an example. If you're shopping for a mortgage, let's say, and you apply for pre-approval at several different lenders within a two-week interval, those inquiries will likely be treated as a single inquiry by your credit scoring models. However, if you apply for a mortgage pre-approval at, at one lender, then go for a, a car loan at another lender and a credit card at a third lender, all within a month, each of those inquiries will count against you and could have a significant negative impact on your credit score. The second factor is the age of the inquiries. A recent hard inquiry will have a greater impact on your score than an older one, but the impact will decrease over time. Now, inquiries typically stay on your credit report for two years, but they only affect your score usually for the first 12 months. The third factor is the type of credit you're applying for. Now, as I said earlier, inquiries for a, a mortgage or auto loan are usually treated as a single inquiry if they occur within a certain time frame, typically you know, 14 to 45 days. This is because it's common for people to shop around for the best rate when applying for these types of loans. And finally, your overall credit history and credit score also play a role in determining the impact of a hard inquiry. If you have a short credit history or a low credit score, a hard inquiry will have a greater negative impact on your score than if you have a long credit history and a high credit score. Put very simply, the actual impact can vary depending on your individual credit profile. Consumers who take an unusually long time, several months, to shop for a new mortgage or auto loan can be subject to hard inquiries that can potentially lower their credit score. Additionally, individuals who shop around for several different lines of credit not associated with mortgage or auto loans within the same year may also receive multiple hard inquiries that can compound the negative impact on their credit score. Furthermore, people who are aware that their credit score barely qualifies them for their desired credit offering 
likely from conversations with creditors, may be at a higher risk of receiving hard inquiries that could negatively impact their score. Now, you should be wary if you fall into any of these categories. Also, you need to be mindful of the number and frequency of hard inquiries on your credit report, especially if you're trying to improve your credit score. If you've racked up inquiries over time and already have things that are dragging down your credit, a new inquiry could pose a problem when you're trying to get approved for a, a loan or a credit card and, 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 and trying to get good rates. Right about now, you're probably wondering, well, how do I remove a hard inquiry? The good news is it can be done. But just like the hard inquiries themselves, they are, are, are case specific. Now, I explained before, but hard inquiries are usually the result of your actions. If this is your situation, you should ditch the idea of getting it removed. It's going to be around for a while. But remember, the effects only last 12 months. So just stay on top of other good behavior and habits within your credit report and you'll be fine. On the other hand, hard inquiries could also be the result of fraud or an error on the part of the credit reporting agencies. Now, to find out whether or not it is, you're going to need to investigate. And, and, and that's only the beginning. Now, when I say that, if, if you get a bit overwhelmed or nervous and you want to skip the stress of the process of doing this, one viable option is to just contact Credit Sage. Navigating the world of credit can be overwhelming. I get it. And, and especially so when you're trying to boost your credit score to reach your, your goals. You don't have to worry about it. Credit Sage is, is really here to help you out. Instead of stressing about the ins and outs of credit management, why not trust our team of experts to handle it for you? You can give us a call. You'll find our number in the description below and, and let, let us get started on boosting your credit score today. If you are up for the challenge though, I'll give you a few steps that you can take to dispute a hard inquiry on your credit report. First, you wanna obtain your credit reports for free. You can order free credit reports once a year from each bureau. Just go to annualcreditreport.com to request your reports and carefully review all three for signs of identity theft. Identify any inaccurate hard inquiries. Check the hard inquiry section of your credit report. They're all organized in one section. And flag any unfamiliar activity to ensure that it's not fraud. Reach out to the lender. Contacting the lender directly who initiated the inquiry may avoid a formal dispute. Explain to them in a very calm, professional manner that you believe there is an error on your credit report and request that they remove the inquiry. File a formal dispute. If reaching out to the lender does not resolve the issue, you may need to file a formal dispute. And what you want to do is include all the essential information. Be sure to uh, include all the necessary details, such as the date of the disputed information, the company that provided the information, and the credit bureau that recorded the disputed hard inquiry in your formal dispute letter. Submit your dispute. Submit your credit dispute online, or you can do it in writing to the credit bureaus that list the questionable inquiries. Then wait for a verdict. The credit reporting agencies must resolve the matter within 30 to 45 days. If the bureau cannot verify the inquiry, they will likely remove it from your credit report. Now keep in mind, a dispute does not equal a guaranteed removal. However, it is always still worth a shot, especially if you suspect that the inquiry was made without your permission or was inaccurate. By regularly checking your credit report and disputing any errors or unauthorized inquiries, you can help protect yourself from identity theft and maintain a healthy credit score. Now again, if you're feeling swamped and, and have a lot of other things on your plate to deal with, don't worry about it. Give our team a call at the number in the description and we have a hassle-free phone consultation that only takes a few minutes. And once you sign up with us, we'll handle every step on your behalf, advocating for you with creditors and bureaus so that, that you can focus on other important aspects of your life. We've been doing this for years and know exactly what to look for to improve your credit score. Plus, by relying on us, you'll save yourself time and avoid the risk of making costly mistakes. So what are you waiting for? As always, if you found this video helpful, you can show your support by hitting the like and subscribe button to our channel. And we have new videos coming out every week. So thank you so much for watching.